All right, first I'd like to start by saying all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that will honor to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that stood in truth and sincerity. Now, uh, this is just a couple of scriptures, so I'm going to jump right into it. This is 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right. Um, and that's talking about the scriptures, man. Like the uh, scriptures say, Revelation 19, 10, which is Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. This is the angel talking to John. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right? So, going back to 2 Ezra chapter 15. Verse 1, it says, Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which the testimony of Yahweh Shai is prophecy. So that's the book, man. It's locked in. It says, um, Right, so that's what we're doing. We out there on the highways and byways. We're speaking. Uh, the words of prophecy into unto uh, Israel, which is the Black Latins and Native Americans, man, because that's what time we're living in. Which I will put in thy mouth, because it came from the scriptures, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, which is why we, uh, why we have the book out there. It says, "For they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee." So we're not. As far as the imaginations go, we're not scared of people saying they're going to kill us. Um, Yahweh Shai died for us. Uh, the apostles died. Um, you know, certain apostles died. Certain prophets and teachers died. And um, uh, for the word, or was killed for the word. And um, if we them saying prophets through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, we're going to die also. So, you know, that's uh, uh, little. That's nothing to worry about. It says, let not the incredulity which is the unbelief of them trouble thee, right? So we're not worried about these people not believing. There's an election, said the Bible, that speak against thee. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, right? So, you know, we didn't uh, hit them instances where people we knew uh, spoke against us or made fun of it, mocked it, didn't believe it, and uh, end up dying not too soon later. So, you know. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithful faithfulness. So the guy was unfaithful, man. And I'm pretty sure brothers didn't want to do this with some of the people that they know. It says, behold, said the Lord, family members, all of that. It says, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Right. And it says the sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's going on all over the world, man. Starvations, death, uh, <laughs> uh, the nuclear missiles is coming soon. Uh, you know, it says, um, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Wickedness is, um, you know, uh, uh, democracy as a whole, the uh, money system, uh, uh, Democrat, Republican, uh, homosexuality, bestiality, being able to worship idols and um witchcraft and uh broad daylight and do ceremonies and all that shit man they got uh some new shit that i just uh found out is um the phallic symbol processions man and, and that goes back to worship another penis and take all the way back to uh, dionysus you know they got a whole history behind that wicked shit man but uh that's for another day for another time but that's a uh, part of the wickedness of uh of the world it says, um, and their hurtful works are fulfilled, said the Lord. I'm from the jump. This is uh, verse 11. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues. Talking about who uh, the Lord's people, the elect, going to be delivered. And smite Egypt because America is involved in this. Two, Egypt is represent, for representation for America with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof because uh, this is the modern day Egypt. The uh, past Egypt got smitten with plagues 
and fire and uh, 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 brimstone came out the uh, sky, for lack of a better term, um, um, and smite Egypt with plagues, right? So we know Egypt went through all these plagues, man. You know, the Lord rained fire down on them. As before, and will destroy all the land thereof, right? And the modern day Egypt is America. America going to be destroyed totally. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishments that the Most High shall bring upon it. And that's talking about thermonuclear missiles, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon, which is America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, which is the nuclear missiles. And I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. So all, you know, all this confrontation that America getting herself into with these nations and calling herself being the uh, police of the world and all that, the Lord will have it to where these nations rise up against the Americans and shoot missiles on them. It says, against him that bendeth, let the arch bend his bow, and against him that lifted himself up in his brigadine. And spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Right. So, you know, no matter what type of uh, armor, military, weapon capabilities, and stuff you have in that day, it's going to all be destroyed. It's not going to, you know, save you. That's why the scriptures say, woe unto them that trust in Egypt. Now, hold on, just to prove that point. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, grab that one first. Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots, because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. So destruction to these people that trust in the American military might. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil, evil and will not call back his words, but will rise, arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men and the Most High uh, and not God, and their horse is flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hopeless shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. Right? So they're not they're not gonna be able to deliver themselves in that day, man. And destruction to the people that trust in the in this military might also. The second Ezra chapter 13, verse 1, it says, And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof, and I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, talking about Yahweh Shai and the angels. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him, right, because Yahweh Shai came out the, uh, out the, uh, the uh, uh out of out of uh yeah was shot came back in the chariot and everybody got scared so like it says in whensoever the voice went out of his mouth all they burned that heard his voice like as the earth filleth when it filleth the fire and after this I beheld and lo there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Right, Yahushua came out of space, man. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it, which is the so-called UFO, which is a big chariot, and it looked like a mountain. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, yet durst fight. And lo, 
as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Right, so no matter what type of uh, defense capabilities um, these nations going to have in that day, um, or military might that they going to have, the Lord going to destroy them with thermonuclear fire. Thermonuclear missiles, man. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. It's going to come as a thief to those that are not watching. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. I'll write this back in Jeremiah chapter 51, verse. I'm going to start back at verse 3. It says, Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifted up, lifted himself up in the, his brigadine, and spare ye not her young men. <coughs> <coughs> destroy ye utterly all her hosts. So America is going to be destroyed right along with. Um, uh, uh, a lot of these other nations going to be hit with nuclear missiles, man. And a lot of them people that's going to be over there in that battle are going to be hit with nuclear missiles. It says, Thus say, thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. It says, For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power uh, of the Lord of hosts, uh, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. <laughs> Let me see if I can get some more about this second Ezra. <laughs> All right, the second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 12. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation. And the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. They, they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail, and with a fearful constellation, right nuclear missiles. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, destruction to the world, because not only is America going to be hit by thermonuclear missiles, but a lot of these other countries and nations are going to be hit by thermonuclear missiles. For the sword and their destruction draw in my and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. And that's talking about race race rights, man, because this is prophecy. There, there are uh, steps to this. So uh, with that being said, that's the end of the uh, lesson. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well. And salutations to the brothers that stood in truth and sincerity. Shalom.